I'm saying a prayer for my people and asking Jaja why these walls come tumbling down. I said these walls come tumbling down. Oh my people, these walls come tumbling down. I said these walls come. Just until you feel exactly what I feel Overdo like roadkill My people, why can't you tell that we're still here? We are all individuals that come together and make greatness. Pretty much, that's how I describe it. We're all unique. Our artistry is different, but when we come together, it works. Music is just something, always been something I've connected with ever since I was little. I don't know, I wrote my first song on piano when I was 10. I've been singing since three years old, and I started on piano. I've been singing and performing in choir since elementary school, throughout college, and I started performing live bands and concerts in college. I went to an art high school and majored in piano and choir, so classical. I was in a group with my best friends, like we did spoken word and we sang. So we did that, we was performing in churches and we just did our own little thing. Came to Chicago, went to Columbia, and started doing my own solo stuff. College is when I started exploring more with, mm, no I always explore music. But yeah, just fell into myself as an artist more in college. It basically started, I started the band, me and uh, Loon, Loon the Day. We decided one day we wanted a all-girl band. And so like, we camped out at the music building basically. We already was there like 24-7 anyway, so but. And we ended up with five, we started out with nine, ended up with five. One more chance, I can show you how to advance, experience all of my hands, I bet your body will learn a new dance, flexing all of my skills, mind, body, spirit in these hills, got a prize for a guy with a will, power up so I know this shit is real. Both as an artist and um, as a person. Currently, like whatever I'm feeling or whatever I'm experiencing, like my personal experience definitely matters in what I write about. I am inspired by what's going on around me. I mean, you have to be. You see all this like crazy shit going down. It's like 
I don't know what to do with it anymore, so it's just the only way I know how to translate it. We wrote this song called Justice, but we wrote it like two weeks before Mike Brown got killed. And that's like our hometown. Half the band is from St. Louis. Like, that was down the street from where I stay. My grandmother called me crying because Mike Brown looked like one of the fam. And we really performed that song a lot the whole time that was going on and shit like that. But like, our music is for the people anyways, or what we feel, or our struggle and shit like that. Which is everybody's struggle, basically. Everybody got more, you know. Been thinking about too much, about simple things. Ran out of my luck. I've been born again, waited too long, misused my gift, but I see the light again, and I reach right for it, I go at the flow, I don't force it, just lose control, enjoy the ride to bliss. Uh, I want to say fitting in because we don't try to fit in. Kind of feeling like the underdog or feeling like uh, just working harder, which is not necessarily a bad thing. We played so many places that uh, we were underestimated so much. Like, are you going to hit all these drums? You know, and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, I'm just a drummer. Like, doesn't make a difference if I'm a girl or a boy, you know. So, just being underestimated, being the underdog, but that just that's fuel for the fight, you know. It's like help you go harder, prove people wrong. Could you elaborate on the importance of having women producers and women in more behind the scenes areas of music? I honestly don't really care if it's female or male. Honestly, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just really fluid. Wherever the magic happens, I'm down for whoever. It's like as a woman, I'm really think about I'm a woman all the time. So when I'm producing, I'm not really thinking about being a woman and producing. I'm thinking about being creative. It doesn't really matter if I'm a woman if I can't execute it. There's so many talented women that I see and that I hear that are amazing. So here we are, we here. <laughs> Just being confident in who you are as an artist, it starts there, it ends there. When you're performing on stage, like how do you feel? just as nervous as you were the first time that you got on stage? Sometimes, but I overcome that, and it feels good to overcome it, and each time it gets better, and it feels better. But before, yeah, I was so nervous. It's like so much going on, y'all. I'm like, what? But I just worked through it. Being in this band, when I first came to them, I was not able to do certain things, and they helped bring it out of me, basically. Um, it becomes more comfortable each time. Just falling into what I always knew was there and becoming confident in myself, it's greater each time. I mean, playing shows is like the best thing ever. I mean, it's really awesome. You're in this room and you're connecting with this group of people. You, like, you don't know their name necessarily. I don't know their where it came from, but we're all connecting on a different level because we're all experiencing this one thing in this moment and that will never happen again. Why is nine afraid of seven? <laughs> 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 
seven, eight, nine. No, don't tell the joke. You don't do that in an audience heckler. What, are you, what did nine? Why is nine afraid of seven? Sometimes we may come off the wrong way to each other, um, whether you've known each other for a long time or a short period of time. Forgiveness is important because it's a learning experience. Forgiveness is learning. It's learning and understanding and moving forward. What are your hopes in the end for your music and for like your legacy? Just to, to be heard in a sense, because we do have a purpose with our music. So just being heard, being examples, going higher, elevating, getting deeper into whatever it is, just elevating. I mean, I think it's really dope what's happening in the music scene now because there's so many different ways that we can get music nowadays where back in the day it was like what the radio was playing it was basically you were fed music where nowadays you have your own source you have different outlets like you can find music if you're looking for it so i feel like what everyone was looking to as you know uh, like setting standards like this is what we should listen to like that's not there anymore it's like breaking barriers like these idea of like genres and everything all that's changing I'm very inspired by everyone, I, the, the collective I am in. I mean, they're all amazing artists, and being able to like go and create music with them is the best thing ever. This is not only something that I want to do, but also something that I want to help other people feel good about. It makes me feel good, and I want my music to make other people feel good. So that definitely propels me to be a better performer and better entertainer. I just want to see the world and meet different people and like meet artists that influence me. I just want to experience shit I ain't never experienced before. To be heard, you gotta be bizarre, something different. So like, if you're different, if you're out of this world, if you feel like you're an alien, whatever, be an alien, you know what I'm saying? Say that one more time because I don't want to fuck it up. I'll be down to get this far without a smile on my face. I'm sorry. This is the hard part. I'm so scared for this part. There's so many letters. It's like the alphabet. See, it's hard. It's hard shit. You're watching WNUR Chicago Sound Experiment. WNUR Chicago Sound Experiment. <laughs> you are watching WNUR Chicago Sound Experience. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> this experience. This experiment. What did I say? <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, one more time. Okay, one more time. You are watching WNUR Chicago Sound Experiment. <laughs> Yes, them deuces got them fucking Cause my come up say I'm popping flat